So today we're going to look at the installation for the Suzuki multifunction display and I've got here the 9 inch display and I'm just going to look at how we would build up a network to connect that. So first of all we need to build our backbone and um, in the box with the display you'll find that there are three of these T pieces and these can be connected together to form a backbone. You'll see they simply screw together and there's a locking pin so you can just turn it until you can feel it click and it's as simple as that. We've built the first part of the backbone and importantly we need to put a small resistor on each end. These come in the box and there's a male and a female so the female goes on that end and again if you just turn it gently you'll feel it lock into place and then you can just do it up. It's critical that these are put on otherwise the system will not work and then the male one this end. As simple as that we've built the backbone. Again really important this backbone needs power because some of the accessories that we can put on it require power from the backbone where others don't. So let's put the power cable into the network Again, you just turn gently till you can feel it and then you just screw it up like that till it's tight. So we've now got power to our network and I'll just pop a battery there you, so it can remind us what that's doing. So if we now look at connecting the data to display to the backbone, we have our extension lead here. Just very gently turn until it slides in and do up the connector. So on the back here we've got the connector and again you just gently turn that until it slips in and do it up tight. That's it. And you'll not notice over here as well there's another power supply required for the display unit and that cable is also in the box and can be fitted again very simply just look out for the locator and do that up nice and securely. And so we've got our data display connected to our network and the network is powered from the battery. In this case, for this accessory for the display unit, you need the two power cables that are connected to the battery um, as well and that might be in the console power. So next we need to think about the engine. So this is where the third T-piece connects and I have here one of our larger engines for Suzuki and we're going to connect that to the gateway and the gateway is here. Again it very simply connects to the backbone. So this end of the gateway goes and connects to the harness for the engine. And there we have it. Very simple and very easy to put together. Please do talk to your dealer for more information or watch these videos.